Ertapenum vial is a medication that is used to prevent and treat many different types of bacterial infections. It belongs to the carbapenum type antibiotic class and works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It is important to take this medication as directed by your doctor in order to get the most benefit from it. The dosage and timing of ertapenum vial will vary depending on the severity of the infection and individual patient's condition. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and ask any questions you may have about the use of this medication. Before you start using ertapenum, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist for more information. This medication is usually given by injection into a muscle or vein, as directed by your doctor. The usual frequency is once or twice daily. If you are using ertapenum to prevent an infection, a healthcare professional will administer the injection into a vein, usually one hour before your surgery. If the injection is into a muscle, be sure to follow the manufacturer's directions for mixing with lidocaine 1% solution. Do not use this solution for injection into a vein. If you will be using this medication at home, it is important to learn all the preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional. Before using, check the product visually for any particles or discoloration. If you see either, do not use the liquid. It's also important to learn how to store and discard medical supplies safely. The dosage of ertapenum is based on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. For children, the dosage is also based on their age and weight. To get the best effect, use this antibiotic at the same times every day. It's important to continue using this medication until the full prescribed treatment period is finished, even if your symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may result in a return of the infection. If your condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to inform your doctor. When using ertapenum vial, you may experience some side effects such as swelling, redness, pain, or soreness at the injection site, upset stomach, headache, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. If any of these effects persist or worsen, be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits to you outweigh the risk of side effects. Most people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects, but it's crucial to seek medical help immediately if you have any very serious side effects, such as seizures or unusual weakness. In some rare cases, this medication may cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. If you experience symptoms such as persistent diarrhea, abdominal or stomach pain slash cramping, or blood slash mucus in your stool, contact your doctor right away. It's important to avoid using anti-diarrhea or opioid products as they may worsen the symptoms. Prolonged or repeated use of this medication may lead to oral thrush or a new yeast infection. If you notice white patches in your mouth, a change in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms, contact your doctor. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed here. If you're in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using ertapenum, make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies to it, or to other carbapenems, penicillins, cephalosporins, or amide-type local anesthetics. This is important because the product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. It's also important to inform your doctor of your medical history, especially if you have brain disorders, kidney disease, or stomach-slash-intestinal diseases. Additionally, it's important to note that ertapenum may cause live bacterial vaccines, such as the typhoid vaccine, to not work well. Before receiving any immunizations or vaccinations, be sure to inform your healthcare professional that you are using ertapenum. If you are planning to have surgery, it's crucial to let your doctor or dentist know about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, it's important to inform your doctor before using this medication, as well as if you are breastfeeding, 
as this medication can pass into breast milk. Always consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using erdipenem. When taking erdipenem vial, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with ertapenemvil include valproic acid and related drugs, such as devalproic sodium and sodium valproate. Be sure to discuss any potential interactions with your healthcare provider before starting this medication. Remember that the benefits of taking ertapenemvil should outweigh any potential risks, and always follow your doctor's instructions regarding the daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication. If someone has taken too much ertapenem and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's crucial to act quickly in these situations to ensure proper medical attention is received. If you are prescribed ertapenem vial, you may need to undergo lab or medical tests, such as a complete blood count or kidney function tests. It is important to attend all scheduled medical and lab appointments. Be sure to consult your doctor for more information on these tests. Make sure to take each dose of ertapenem vial as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, consult your doctor or pharmacist for a new dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Be sure to follow the storage instructions provided with the product and consult your pharmacist if you have any questions. It's important to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of this medication, make sure not to flush it down the toilet or pour it down the drain unless specifically instructed to do so. When it's expired or you no longer need it, be sure to properly dispose of it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.